okay you are all welcome to this channel once again if you are new to this channel please try and use the subscribe button and if you also find the video helpful make sure you give me a like button so in this video we will be talking about how we can create an account how we can create a custody account with a custodian wallet example of a custodian wallet is trust wallet example of custodian wallet is trust wallet so in this video you are going to learn how you are going to create an account with trust wallet and at the same time trade on the decentralized exchanges that are in trust wallet so let us begin if you have not got your trust wallet you can go to play store for those using the android phones to download trust wallet written in two ways trust and wallet you download the wallet for those using the iOS, you can go to app store and also get your trust wallet and download it so haven't downloaded your trust wallet i already have a trust wallet so let me open my own trust wallet i already have a trust wallet so i can actually create additional trust wallet in my own trust wallet so once you have come to your trust wallet you can see that i already have a trust wallet so i can actually create another account by coming to settings once i come to settings you already see you can see here that i have two wallets so all i'm going to do is to click on it once i click on it i use this arrow come to where i'm seeing plus or where you are seeing plus click on that plus once you click on that plus you will see an an icon so all you are going to do is to click on create wallet if you already have a wallet you can cl uh, click on i already have a wallet you can actually um, that is import your wallet back but if you have none you create a new wallet here this means that you can actually create more than five wallet in one trust wallet so for those who have not actually got trust wallet go to app, app store go to android or um, google play store get your trust wallet so let us begin now i will click create wallet once i click on create wallet it's not telling me in the next steps you will see phrase 12 ways that allows you to recover what a wallet and what are the purpose of this you see if i lost my secret phrase my fund will be lost forever if i expose or share it that phrase to anybody my fund can be stolen it is my full responsibility to keep this so i had to tick it tick them then i will say continue once i say continue this is the new account i don't want to create but i just want to show you how you can actually create a wallet so all you need to do is to write this 12 phrase down you write the 12 phrase down after you must have written it down you can see the number one is announce slice order and uh, evidence pink stone patient blast and hammer so if i actually all i need to do is to copy them down in my diary save them in a secret place because whenever i lost my phone or whatever i can actually use this to recover my fund 
and this seed phrase which is 12 words should not be given to anybody if not your phone will be stolen okay haven't copied it let's assume i copied it all i need to do is to say continue now it will ask me i, I will start putting the words according to how they came if number one is announced i will click announce announce will enter if number two is slice i will click if number three just like that until i got the six then i will say done my account is what created so this is exactly how you can actually create your trust wallet now i do not want to create this wallet i'm just showing you how you can actually do that so having created the wallet all you need to do you click on done okay let me just go back let me just go back now i already have a wallet okay let me go to one of the wallets on how you can actually secure your wallet now for your for you to secure your wallet having created it for you to secure it all you need to do is to come to security on the security you can see i have already placed a security on my account so you can see passcode then you click on it create your own passcode i don't want i don't know what you will use you create your either six digit passcode remember it always write it down you can also lock your trust wallet either with biometric that that is use, using your fingerprint and uh, or with your passcode so all these things will be done at security side now you can actually your trust wallet can actually you can set it for it to ask you for authentication whenever you want to make transaction so you can actually on this button here if it is off you on it so that each time you make transaction it will ask you for passcode in case if somebody actually fingers into your your trust wallet and gets your your phrase now the biometric that is the second security could be something that could will not allow the person to steal your fund unless if the person can crack our form or actually gaze and get the right um code you actually use in your transaction signing so these are ways you can actually protect your account so that is for um the security aspect on preference you can actually change your preference you can actually put it any kind of currency you want if you want your own to be in naira you can locate naira if you want it to be in any kind of currency depending on where you are upon the surface of the earth you can actually put it click by clicking on where on preference when you click on preference it will not give you that you can also set a lot price a lot and when a particular crypto is going up or when it's going down so these are ways you can actually do settings so while looking at the background after settings you can see dApps. this is decentralized applications these are decentralized application you can also see discovery discovery is loading you can see some blockchain platforms you then the wallet so having created your wallet first of all you will see different different cryptocurrencies so if you want to add a particular crypto that is not showing in your account if you want to add a particular crypto that is not showing maybe when you created it what was showing is just a btc ethereum and the dogecoin so if you want to 
add more coin that is not showing in your wallet all you need to do is to use here this toggling sign then once you click on it you will see different different coins will appear you can see anyone that i own is will be showing in my trust wallet but the ones that are on the left side that are not showing these ones are the ones that are not uh, that i have not on so if i want litecoin to be showing in my trust wallet i will just on it litecoin it will show showing then matic i can also on matic i can also on polkadot i can also on texas that is stella as you can own as many as you want so these are ways you can actually add some tokens that are not showing in your trust wallet so these are ways you can do it so the next thing now is how to use the trust wallet to actually trade how to use the trust wallet to actually trade here we have the trust wallet is a custodian wallet because you own the product key the 12 phrase that was given to you secure it very very important secure it in fact hide it encrypt it write it save it because it is very very important do not show it to anybody and trust wallet as a company will never call you for you to provide your phrase or your seed phrase and be careful of airdrops that you collect more especially there are a whole lot of fake airdrops that they will use a phishing apps to try to steal your funds and it has happened it have happened several times people's phone we are stolen because of negligence and carelessness so be very very careful on this aspect now the next section is how we can trade using trust wallet because this is a decentralized wallet now we also have decentralized exchanges in trust wallet how can we find those decentralized exchanges now all you need to do is to make use of this that is what you will do to make use of this dApps. you click on dApps. once you click on dApps, you will see a whole lot a whole lot you can see venus a decentralized marketplace for lending we can see pancake swap pancake swap we can see uniswap we can see power pool farming yield which lido staking a whole lot can be done on this place now assuming we want to trade on pancake swap pancake swap you is a binance um is under binance technology binance smart chain so you can actually use binance smart chain to actually trade on pancake swap now before i come uh, before we go to the trading let's assume that somebody how to add some tokens some tokens that are not in trust wallet some tokens that you do not have maybe you we are given an airdrop or somebody told you about a particular token about a particular coin that that coin is going to do well and uh, where can you get that coin you search here you didn't see it all you need to do is to go to coin market cap we have coin market cap and we have a uh, coin gecko so when you go to coin market cap all you need to do is to search for that particular token let's take for instance brick brick token let us search brick token brick i will type brick b brick 
brick token okay it has appeared brick token i just click on it it will now open so all i will do as you have seen the brick token the price of brick token today is 0 0.0036 and it is losing 49 percent of its value you can see it's going down and it's a very nice opportunity to buy now how can we add this brick token in our trust wallet for it to be showing and how can we put it in our trust wallet at the same time buy it because you cannot buy through coin market cap so all we need to do is to search for the blockchain platform it belongs blockchain platform that it belongs binance has a chain a blockchain and we call it b and b smart chain or b20 smart chain or bsc or popularly known as bsc binance smart chain so you can also see the abbreviation b20 binance smart chain so that means this coin which is brick is built under binance smart chain it is built under binance smart chain so all we need to do now is to click here you can see it said copied here i have just copied the contract address contract address of this uh, brick so as since i have copied it now all i will do is to go back to my what trust wallet i'll go back to my trust wallet I open my security now what I will now do I click here on the toggle sign on the top right hand side I will now that is yes I will just click that is add token okay I can also off it this way or just tap and paste that address that I copied Yes, the address that I just copied, I just paste it. Immediately, as soon as I paste it, it will just appear. So, as it appear, I will own it. You can see. Yes, the coin is already in my wallet. I have already copied the coin address. It's already here now. So, if I want to trade this particular coin now, if I want to trade it if i want to buy it because what i have now is zero all i will do i will go back to where dApps. remember i told you dApps, decentralized application this is where i will come i will now click on dApps. i will click on dApps. once i click on dApps, i will now locate since it is binance matching where the decentralized exchange i should be using will be what pancake swap i will click on where pancake swap this is pancake swap i will click on pancake swap then i click on it it will open i'll wait for it to open so for me to trade here in pancake swap i must have binance smart chain i must have binance smart chain if you don't have binance smart chain you must go and buy binance smart chain and you can buy it in different exchanges either you buy from binance or any exchange or you can pay people who you trust they can send you binance smart chain and how can you actually put your binance smart chain in this place first of all let us go back for you to get your binance smart chain all you need to do is to come to wallet as soon as you come to your wallet you first of all look at bnb you can see it is on it is on so you click on it this is bnb bnb so for you to actually buy from somebody or buy from any exchange to send into this place first because you want to use it as a gas fee because you will use this binance smart chain to swap that brick token that you want to buy so this one now we act as a protocol for us to get 
that brick token so we are going to actually give them binance smart chain and then take brick token so for us to exchange or do this exchange all we need to do first of all to buy binance smart chain and for you to have it all you need to do is to click on receive you click on receive copy this address by using this button you click on copy then send it or you go and withdraw if you have binance binance account you go and withdraw and send into your trust wallet here or you send to whoever wants to buy for you from you for you or wherever because it can be gotten anywhere yes from any exchange that is trading bnb you can also have a trusted person who you can send your fiat currency your naira your chequa your dollar so that they can send you binance smart chain after having sent them the binance bsc wallet remember that bsc binance smart chain is different from bnb bnb is a token of binance why bsc it is their token based on their blockchain so this one now act as a protocol for you to swap any coin that is built on binance blockchain so haven't done this haven't done this if you, that is want to buy your bnb now you have copied this and sent to whoever or to any exchange and bought your bnb it's already in your wallet now now let us move back to where we where that is going to um decentralized exchange like pancake swap to buy brick token you remember before we went to brick buy brick token we went to coin market cap to copy the contract address and that contract is based on what binance smart chain so we now click here going back we now click on pancake swap so as soon as we have come to pancake swap then if you we look at this place if it is showing ethereum you will click on it assuming it is it was showing ethereum network like this assuming it was showing ethereum network you will instead of leaving it on ethereum network because that is not the network you are using you want to buy from it is binance smart chain you will rather click on what click on this one bsc you will see that you know, the team will automatically swap from ethereum to binance what smart chain then haven't done that which means it is on binance smart chain right now then you look down you see here if your account is not connected if your account is not connected to bnb network if your account is not connected to bnb network you will have to do what connect it you will see connect my own is already connected that's why you are seeing a fraction of b and b that i have you see the fraction of b and b that i have so now what do i do next to trade to buy that brick token so for me to buy the brick token now all i will do since i have my b and b which is my binance smart chain up here which i will use to swap the that brick token all i will now do is to you you see you will see here cake coin is showing here right cake coin is showing so cake is not what i want to buy what i want to buy is what brick token so i will now click sorry i will now click once i click a drop down will occur so in the drop down in the search bar in the search bar i will now do what tap and hold paste that address that i copied which is brick token you see that it has shown i will say import now it will show me i will mark here i will mark here I'll mark good once I mark then I click import once I click import it will show you can see that 
I have not bought is just showing zero. Zero. I don't have any. It's just showing zero. So all I will do now for me to buy, since I have sent my Binance Smart Chain in here, you can see the value of my Binance Smart Chain. Let's assume I want to use the maximum of this Binance Smart Chain that I have here now. I say maximum. You can see that that amount didn't worth anything. Assuming that you send like $50 of Binance Smart Chain. So you will actually decide whether you will use half of that money if it is 0 0.01 you can now uh, divide it into two by using half of it if you want to use the maximum of it remember that there will be a gas fee so you should not use the maximum or it will, should be subtracted from your main balance once you click maximum it will now show you that this 50 dollar that you have now this is the amount it will now show you here the amount of brick token you are going to get and then we have what we call slippage tolerance we have slippage tolerance you can actually my own is on 0.5 it depends if the slippage tolerance is smaller they will not allow you to swap that means you will have to increase it and how do you increase your slippage tolerance all you need to do is to go to what settings you can actually increase it to 1%. You can actually increase it to 10%. And type 10%. Then you now move away. It will now enter 1%. So once you, you, once you have done that, you will now enter the amount. Once you click here, you can now do what swap after you must have click how many of uh, this thing you want to do you just click here so it will take you to the other side of it so your money will be subtracted you follow the simple instruction that it shows you so having got to this extent the last aspect of it is very simple uh, just follow the instruction there it will now take you uh it, it, the money will be subtracted so when you go after after you finish here you just go back to check your brick token you go to wallet you go to wallet then check scroll up check brick token all you need to do is to check your brick token whether it has come you can see i'm still having zero so if i had bought now my brick token would have been here now, so these are ways you can actually trade with a decentralized uh, exchange by swapping. There are odd, a whole lot of things you can do in this exchange. So another one is uh, Uniswap. Another exchange here is Uniswap. Uniswap is based on Ethereum blockchain. Yes, we have Uniswap. So on Uniswap now, once you click on it, you do not need to change this from Ethereum to Smart Chain because Uniswap is built on Ethereum blockchain. It uses Ethereum blockchain. It's Ethereum protocol. So I can say connect. Now, having connected, for me to trade or buy any token that is under Ethereum blockchain, let's assume you still, uh, uh, let, let's assume I want to buy uh, Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu is also on BSC and Ethereum blockchain. I can actually buy it with Ethereum or BNB. So all you need to do is to do the same thing that I did. Go into uh, Coin Market Cap or uh, go into Coin Gecko and get the contract address. Haven't pasted the contract address. You must use the contract address to come and trade here. How do you how do you trade? Make sure that you keep this on Ethereum blockchain. So once you have it, all you need to do is to do what? Make sure you put Ethereum. You must have Ethereum as a balance. If you don't have Ethereum, go and buy Ethereum. Anywhere you can buy Ethereum. You buy it. 
So once you see your balance here, you know that your Ethereum balance is here. Now, if it if it was five hundred dollar and you want to use hundred dollar worth of Ethereum, then you divide it. You know what it means. It may be use zero point zero one, zero point zero two, or whatever worth of Ethereum to trade. Immediately, you can actually select a token, that particular token you want to trade. You just click. Once you click, uh -huh, it will just a term supposed to be up here. The system is malfunctioning. ETH supposed to be up there. Okay. Now I let's assume I want to swap Shiba. Sorry for that mess up. So, all I need to do, I click a term supposed to be up, then I enter the token that I want to swap. Then I will click the contract address. I will just tap. Assuming that that particular token that we copied earlier was on, you see, it's not here. It's not on Ethereum blockchain. So. I should have added it it's not here so if you want to add any coin that is built on Ethereum blockchain let's assume Shiba Inu there are a whole lot of them that are built on this and you want to swap it all you need to do make sure you have Ethereum then click on uh, on this place to get to get the the the, the search bar then click the click on the search bar click and hold that is tap paste that contract address then it will appear then you can actually enter the amount and swap that is how you can actually trade here yes you can actually also watch your trade how it is going you can actually also sell your tokens that you have that you have got you can actually sell them Yes, you can actually swap them. Since Ethereum is up, the, the other coin is down. You can actually swap it and have your have it in either Ethereum or any of the coin that is that it can be swapped to. So these are ways that you can simply trade on decentralized exchanges. So thank you very much. See you in another video.